Oh, check it out, guys. What are the odds? A closeout. Normally 300 bucks, damn near, for 217. Extra horse, or excuse me, extra half horsepower. Let's just take a look at her. It's definitely the same damn model. Well, I was gonna fix the other one, but I think I'll just purchase this for 217 bucks. All right, well, I just got done unboxing the uh, new pump here, and right off the bat, you can tell that they've made a change in the situation here. The switch that was buried inside the old motor is now right here on the outside. They got this big, big, big cover that fits on here, and that'll be the next issue is I think it was kind of close to the wall but I think I'll probably still be all right one thing I want to do just out of curiosity is uh, I want to take this front cover off this pump and I'm just curious if they're still using a uh, if they're still using the carbon steel shaft or if they put a stainless steel shaft in it I'm just really curious to see about that all right I got the uh, the bolts out of here just a screwdriver here and this part should come right off here just like we did last time I assume she goes should just be a gasket in here you know sometimes doing things one-handed you can have problems <laughs> uh, hopefully no harm no foul here I would have never done that if I had a uh, if I didn't have the stamp camera in my hand, but at any rate. While I remove the diffuser, you know, for a new pump, you know, it's, maybe that's just the way these things are. Maybe they test run them in the water that sits in here, they can't get rid of it. And it just rusts really bad, but of course they don't really intend you to take it apart, I'm sure. But this is just going to be too much work to get this impeller off here. It doesn't have such a nice arrangement on the back side. And, so I guess my curiosity is going to have to just be still unsatisfied. But yeah, it's just a lot of rust in the damn thing. When this thing took a shot, it hit right here on the corner here and on the uh, suction inlet and then on the drain plug here a little bit. But uh, it's no worse for the wear. So I guess I'll just put it back together again and then go install Well, there it. she is installed and I can tell you one thing's for sure it's a lot quieter than what it was I got the arduous task of priming the situation here so uh, that's that for now I'm gonna take the other one and just set it aside in the box and uh, use it as a spare or put a seal in it or whatever well there she is running definitely has more oomph to it for sure it's like uh, definitely was kind of a worthwhile investment I was running here and it kind of made a little squeaking sound which you know the heck that could have possibly been but nevertheless this is the way I normally run it like this just to keep the rain off of it here's that squeak wonder what that is. I've had these pumps for like 15 years now and I think I've gone through this will probably be the fourth one but this is the first horse and a half one that I've had no idea what that sound it sounds kind of like a bearing kind of hmm. that's what the tag used to be you don't have a tag on it this used to say water ace on there but I got it from Ace True Value. It's a water ace from Ace True Value. Yeah.